fellas. It has been a while since we filmed. I got a haircut and I shaved my beard. I had a moustache for a while, that was, that was fabulous. <laughs> we're just waiting for Mark's car to cool down right now. We got a whole saw piece, cut a hole in his door card, and we're gonna try and stick some tweeters in there. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened. Yeah. For starters, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you guys. Yeah. Well, we've got some great stories that happened over Christmas. What's, what's there to say? I mean, we painted his fan shroud metallic blue because it's funky. Yeah, real funky. So, a few things have happened to my car. The most notable is on this side. I was um, going down to Woolies to pick up a $7 bottle of sunscreen. And on the way out, I got backed into and then blamed. So that's like a good 45, 50 mil, like pressed in. Pretty much what happened is like, I went to reverse out. I saw this guy coming along, so I stopped. He drove past and then I continued to reverse out. I got maybe a meter further. Um, he noticed a lady leaving a car park a couple spaces further up from me on the other side. So he snapped into reverse and just went straight into the back of me. Uh, and then he said that I reversed into him and I wasn't moving. I stopped because my passenger screamed stop. So I was like, yeah, right. He, he, oh, oh, on the insurance, he's just like, because no one here is at fault because we both backed into each other, each person has to repair their own vehicle. His bumper had like paint chips of my paint. So he had the chips he, he, from he had, this bit here. He had, he had my paint chips. I have this. The fact that he was reversing for another car park that he was looking at, he was doing it really quickly. And then he said I was reversing. I'm like, dude, you didn't even see me. Like, he's like, no, no, I saw you reversing. I'm like, then why don't you stop? Like, the point is you didn't see me, because you hit me. And then he said he had reverse sensors, I'm like, well they didn't help, did they? Well they didn't work, did <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter if you don't listen to them. And also, isn't it like once you, once you go past a certain speed, they don't, they don't yeah. do anything, they don't work? I disputed the insurance claim that he made, and I won that, and the guy I was talking to in insurance has an S15, and he's like, oh, I had similar damage, dude was awesome, we ended up talking about Sylvia's for a while, he's got half cage and everything in his, and um, he called me back stoked saying yeah we'll repair your car so recently i moved out and um cleaning the new shed found something kind of interesting that we are very surprised that it actually fits so i was moving a shelf a ton of crap fell out and i was like hey that looks familiar housemate thought it was the top to a fly screen door you thought it was one of the gas struts like the little yeah the little hinge things turns out what was it talking about? Yeah, he, he uh, found this behind a shelf and it fit. It fits our strut pattern and it works. Engine checks nowhere near as much as it used to. Also, I cleaned my engine bay. It is very clean. I like it. So nice and clean. I changed the rocket cover gasket too, so there's no oil pouring out oh, of there. Oh yeah, I did that as well. That used to have oil pouring out all down the side here. Well, there's like one joint on this hose down here somewhere that's leaking power steering. And somewhere under there, I'm leaking clutch fluid. So we're gonna try and find that today too. Nah, Siebs, we'll do your um, control valve. Okay, I take that back. We're not gonna find that today. But yeah, um, I got back to Hindu. We found a free torque damper. And I got a sub again. Oh yeah, Mark put his sound system in his car. And I did a rocket cover gasket change. So yeah, now we're going to continue putting in the tweeters into your door cards and the uh, IACV after that. Stand in the light so we can see. We, like all of you, just do. Yeah. Basically, idle is cooked. It sits at like 14, 1500. Yeah. Regularly. It revs up and just stays there. Revs up, drops down a little bit and then gets even higher. But initially when you <coughs> turn the car on, his idle is at 1000. We've tried all kinds of stuff. We've cleaned the, uh, cleaned the math. You've changed injectors. Fixed the gasket on the throttle body. Cleaned the throttle body. Big exhaust leak over here. Fixed the coolant temp sensor. His idle's still like a big meme. So, brand new IACV. And it looks flashy as. Looks so nice. Pretty much where these are going is right here. A lot of people do put their tweezers right there. Julian has his tweezers there, which is mad. These ones came with a really ugly housing that we're not gonna use. But I like the look of that. I think that looks a lot nicer. Audio nipples sticking out the door. Also, news about Mark getting back into, because that's that's the done thing here in, in Melbourne. If you, if you own an S13, you'll get back into. Yeah, Jules, you're next. Mark's is repaired now. It's super nice, super clean. Car is filthy, absolutely. They have a guy there who like remakes the stickers and stuff, or the little vinyls on the car. 
So he's got this mad twin cam 16 valve, like fresh vinyl. I'm jealous, my car doesn't have those at all. I think someone, previous owners took it off. All right, this is totally our first time hearing this. Door card's on, it is there. the other door. So second tweeter is in. Very cool. Now I can pump the Euro bit harder than everyone else. All Euro beat aside, we're gonna start pulling off his intake plenum manifold guy assembly. Get like all the extensions ever, man. Just like me at the end of uni. <laughs> oh. Um, do you want to take off like all this crap first? It'll make it easier with those sweet, sweet pliers we have. There's, there's like the little edge of OEM gasket hanging out the side, but then there's also gasket goo hanging out the side. So there could be a big leak there, we don't know. We will gasket it once it's back on again. And in the next couple days, the next five days are going to be a minimum of 31. Oh yeah, there was like a huge storm and like mass flooding and stuff here not long, like... When I say not long ago, I mean like two days ago. It washed a bunch of like gastrobacteria into our beaches. And I like the beach, so this is not okay. Fellas, I might buy a GoPro 5 you just need to hit and get one of those cool like gimbal handle mounts whenever they release them one day. Then you'll have much smoother footage. I don't know if the quality will be the same, I hope so. I really like this lens. We also often get asked what the camera setup is. The camera setup is like literally a 600D with a Sigma 8 to 16 mil. Um, what else? A Rode Video Mic Pro. The, 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 oh, the, what the fuck? There was a spider like wrapped around the inside of my door handle with like three dead flies just last night. That was cool. There it is. Diff. Good old weldy. Yeah, I changed to a Mark's coolant last time. And he... Forgot to put the fucking... Forgot to... Retighten the, um... The little bleed valve. Coolant went everywhere. First I hate you shoelace. Do it. Do the thing. I'm doing the thing. Julie, do the thing. <sighs> all for this guy. Stinks of fuel as Mark's removing all the hoses. On a hot day, because we like to play it safe. Why do we never have pliers, man? I always expect you to have pliers. No, you, you never do. don't. You never expect it. You always expect me to have shit pliers. You do have and shit pliers. Exactly. So then my expectations are met. Get off! What else is this? Get off his intake plenum. We took off the intake pipe. It's taken off all the stuff to the throttle body. Uh, all the little back lines and things. There's a bracket that holds the throttle body entrance plenum thing to the engine. So we got to undo that first. All right, another bolt coming out. <clears throat> we are so close, fellas. It's still on that stud at the back. Sure. Is there a hose? There is a stud, but there is a hose. There is a hose too. And this is in the way. The hose like inside. Pulling the front again. There you go, the back's off. And there's a hose. Where is the hose? And you got two hose guys inside it. Because once you get to this point, you should only need to pull it up. Ah, it's fucking sharp. Oh. Go for it now. I hope you like hurting yourself. Moral of the story. I cut my knuckle open and it bled a lot. Quite a lot and it, it still wants to. Um, Mark got a hose off. This is all just for one hose. I see if they suck, man. These things. What the hell, Nissan? What the hell? What are, you, what are you doing? Once this one hose is off, the whole thing is off. Touch wood. Nose wood. Did it. Slut drop wood. 
Just for everyone out there in case you're wondering, cars aren't fun. Don't work on them. Yep. Don't drift them. You can never make a car better no. than what it was from factory. It's not that one, that one's further bracket in there. After much pain and anger and almost having it off completely. I thought you said you got that one off. Well, I did. Apparently not. Screw Goodbye, on. screwdriver. Now we can neck ourselves. So that's what that looks like. Hey, there's your starter motor. With the wrong gauge wire in it. With the wrong gauge wire in it, precisely. This is the actual exciting part. Where we actually get to do the thing we were trying to do this whole time. <laughs> Hey, would you look at that? Don't be yanking it too hard, mate. Alright, so that's the inside of the plenum, and it is filthy as fuck. Yeah, actually. And it's off. That should now just go straight on there. Bam! They look completely different. Well, obviously they'll do like the same general thing, but like turn them upside down. Because I saw a post on Sylvia Republic uh, just the other day. This has it too. It's under the ear. Oh, there's a hole there? Yeah. I wasn't sure if there was. All right. I well. think it's just a new updated version, to be honest. Like they might have sorted a few things out. Possibly. But yeah. All right. Gasket and put it back on. Gasket. All right, so fresh gasket is now on. Did you see that picture of the python eating like a full grown wallaby? Yeah, that was nuts. That was mad. That's when we need that guy who punched a kangaroo in the face. Just break in there and be like... Mate. Well, the kangaroo's being eaten, so he can't... He, I think he's a bit outdone there. Snake like one-upped him. I think it was in Perth or somewhere else. They counted like 46 sharks at the beach in one day. Yeah. That's mad. And someone was like, I'm surprised that there's sharks in the water. It actually, no, it actually annoys me so much when they're like, oh, the person was killed by a shark. We have to track down that shark and kill it. It's like, what? <laughs> Where is the logic in that? It just doesn't make sense to me because it's like, it's not like sharks are going to get offended by it. <laughs> like, you achieve nothing. It's almost like they've been like, oh, it has the taste of human flesh. We must kill them all now. <laughs> it's not going to teach anyone a lesson. Um, the throttle body goes at the front, you knob. I know you think that's a really good idea, but it's not. It's more a one to. No, no, no. I think I, th I know you think that putting that on first is a good idea. But no, what I want to do, I want to get those hoses on, and then I want to put stuff on, and then I want to put it on. That's a good idea. <laughs> you should do that, man. It's probably like a good slice of my skin, like over here somewhere. Dude, your engine has tasted human blood. We have to put it down. <laughs> It's like a shark. It's like a shark. Once it's once it's eaten one person, we have to track it down and kill it. This has been a roller coaster of emotions. And don't forget, we need to gasket the poo out of this thing. I just want to find the rest That's of cool, it. man. Just pour fuel on my driveway. I will. This needs to stop, Andrew. Don't say Andrew. That's weird. Yeah. No, trust me, it's weird. Yeah. I bet you think it's weird too. Yeah. You would have said Andrew just then and be like, I really just instantly regret my decision. You know when you say things and you just like want to throw up? <laughs> yeah, I say Mark all the time, just want to munch. This is exciting, fellas, because these things are so stupid and annoying to change. I recommend it to everyone. Why is there a plenum? Do they have a plenum so that they can fit a bunch of different sensors in there to draw a vacuum from it or sense pressures? And That's the only reason I can think. ITBs are cooler. Today we're learning how to gasket. Um, we have a gasket here and some gasket goo. So we're going to gasket the plenum, put on the gasket, and then gasket the gasket, and then put on the runners. I guess it's a bit of a gasket sandwich. Last time we actually like popped one of the gasket tubes, so we needed to gasket the gasket tube. 
This shit will never leak, I swear. Give us a shot of it. Yeah, look at that. Alright, quick face the camera before it dies. Again. Um, we got that back on. She's on. It sucked. It was difficult. Now we gotta bolt it all together, plug everything back in, and I'll go see if the other battery's finished charging. It's 6.45, so we've probably got another two and a half hours, I'd say. Look what, oh, nice! Can drop bolts. Nice, <coughs> Gary! Now, Mark, are these all the uh, right ones in the right order from the exact same hole? Yeah. Good job. That's what I like to hear. Well organized. There's a razor blade somewhere. Well, I put down a razor blade, we don't know where it went. It goes over the top. Your hairstyle. <laughs> Roasted. We've got a little bracket guy down in here. Here, where you can't see it at all. How about I stand in the light? Like there. Where the plenum goes under the bracket. Um, and the, the bolt hole won't line up. Right, it's all plugged in. And the radio cap's on. Radio yeah, the radio cap is on, man. <laughs> radio cap. The radiator cap is on. Um, press the throttle. Yep, yep, throttle turns, that's nice. Oh, the usual spot when it turns on. Yeah, but Now when you do the timing on the S13, you gotta rev it up to 3k. Or between two and three a couple times. Okay, I'm off the throttle now, watch this. I'm thinking that um math or it could be a possibility, a busted um, throttle position sensor. Technically, you should be able to take it out now. Go take it out. It's the one that doesn't go to the coolant tank. Uh, so that didn't fix the problem at all. It's still idling at like 1400, 1500. Do you want to try my math in yours and see if that'll work? See if it makes a difference? Fellas, this is test two. I don't know. Alright, we're starting it with my Math now, my math sensor. Go for it. That's the lowest it's idled before. Flip it, uh, go to like three, three and a half. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, we did it. Your math is cooked. Okay, so final test, Mark's math is back in. Go for it. Uh, what? What? Are you sure that's not my math? What the fuck just happened? What the hell? What? Why does it work now? I don't know. I'm gonna kill your car, man. I don't understand. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Alright, rev it again. I hate you. I, I hate, I hate this thing. Nah, 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 bugger off. Fellas, we're both lost, we both don't get it. None of us understand. Yeah, what? Like, you you literally saw it, we changed nothing but this. Nothing but this piece of fucking shit. We've packed up now, so we're gonna see if everything is, uh, I guess, still the same. It's, it makes no sense, like, we're happy it's fixed, but we're not happy because we haven't done a fix. Stuck in my math, and then put his back in. And that's not really a fix. The other difference is when you take out the math on my car, or what you meant, what's meant to happen when you take out the math, is that the car goes into limp mode, so it idles at about 700 RPM with a set air fuel ratio. The problem with Mark's car, still when you unplug the math, it stalls out and dies. It doesn't go into limp mode. I don't get it, man. It's so smooth now. Um, before we go, we'll turn my car on. And uh, sure we can yours isn't cooked. make sure mine's not cooked. 
Nonetheless, if it is, there's nothing I can do about it now. There's nothing I want to do about it now. This is Branch. He's a three-toed sloth. sloth. I'm completely done with today. My car works, his doesn't. Your car just died for some reason that we twice. had twice. Oh, I figured out why. I didn't plug the math back in. I'm done. No, it. We're done. <laughs> So despite my huge error in being an absolute pleb, huge pleb, um, it's, it's another example, it's another example that my car runs without the math, Mark's won't. Even though mine died twice, it's not the point, it's not the point. Fellas, don't goof it. Alright, well, that's that, where's the sunlight? That's that for the day. Um, that was a roller coaster of emotions. My car's sweet. Hey. Mark's is, it's sweet, but it's annoying me. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, cheers for coming around and checking out our videos again.